In this video, I want to go through the basics of significant figures, or sometimes as they're referred to, significant digits. This is not math class. This is science. So in science, we are dealing with numbers, but we are usually measuring things. We're not just counting. So significant figures are very, very important. And units, the little symbols behind the numbers, are absolutely critical. So let's go through the rules of significant figures. First of all, exact numbers do not count for sig figs because there's absolutely no uncertainty. For example, if I'm counting these shoes, um, there are 30 shoes here, exactly 30. So there are no, you know, this does not count as a sig fig. The next important rule is any non-zero digit always counts. So that's a really simple rule. Any non zero digit always counts as a significant figure. This is the part that students find hard. It's about zeros. So whether a zero counts or not depends on where the zeros are in the number. So leading zeros never count as significant figures. So I've highlighted them in blue. So leading or zeros that are in front never ever count. Trapped zeros in the second one, like it's trapped between a one and an eight. So trap zeros that are between um, between not zero digits always count. And lastly, trailing zeros or zeros at the end, it depends. It depends. They only count if there's a decimal place. So for example, 20.0, there's two significant figures there, okay? Because there's a decimal place. 300.00, there are a total of um, five significant figures there. 100.0, there's a decimal point right at the end, that's three sig figs. But in the 400, there's no decimal point there, so there's only one sig fig there. And lastly, in the last number, uh, 20,200, there's only two sig figs. So numbers that are in, zeros that are in blue do not count. So decimal points are important, and then the location of where the zero is. Okay, so let's quickly look at this. So let's practice it. So you can pause the video right now and see if you can count how many significant figures are in each number. Here are the answers. Okay, let's try it again. How many significant digits or figures are in each of these numbers? You can pause the video and just look at the app or we'll write down what you think the answer is. Okay, here are the answers. Hopefully they make sense. Take a look at it. If they don't make sense, go back to the rules. Now, in science, sometimes we're, we're usually measuring things. So for example, the first two images, we're measuring the volume of water, which is in mils. And then, but when you're counting, it's different. So in the first picture, I would say that if I was writing this number down, it would be 21.68 mils. The first three digits I know exact are ex I know they're they're exact. Like I know it's definitely 21, and I know it's of a definitely 21.6. My last number, that 0 0.08, is an estimate. Okay, it's an estimate. The next one, uh, the scale is not as accurate. So I think it's around 29 mils. I can't get any more accurate than that. My, that nine is an estimate, so I'm not adding any more decimals. And lastly, you know the, these don't count sig figs because it's an it's absolutely certain there are seven apples here because i'm actually counting whereas in the first two images i was actually measuring sometimes you have to round a number so let's talk a little bit about how you round um, and how you deal with that with sig figs so i'm going to be rounding all of these numbers to three sig figs and this is what i'm getting here the second number, I'm going to round to three sig figs. So I could write it as 1990 mils. Or if I wanted to keep rounding up, probably I would write a scientific notation. So it would be 2.00 times 10 to the 2. And then lastly, uh, that would be rounded to 327 mils. So notice if the number is a 5, like on the first one, uh, I, you round up. So if it's below five, you don't round up. So in calculations, often in science, you're going to do calculations will be adding or subtracting. So a couple of rules of thumb. Your answer, your calculated answer can never be more precise 
than your measuring tool and your answer can always you know must match the least precise measurement that you're using so here are the guidelines and I always get these confused so what are the rules for addition and subtraction well it's about decimal place so when I think of addition there are lots of D's in there 2D so I think decimal place and multiplication division it's about significant figures okay so in addition and subtraction you, you round to the least precise decimal place and multiplication division you round to the least number of sig figs so here's an example we're going to add these two numbers together what's the answer well if you added them up you would get 26.54 gallons but there's four sig uh it's, this is about decimal places so that goes to uh, a hundredth of a place but your least accurate number is 25.2 in terms of decimal places it only goes to a tenth so i would change this to oh that should be actually be 26.5 yeah 26.5 gallons okay subtracting here what would your number be well if you subtract that you'd get 368 gallons but strictly speaking because um your lowest decimal place is in the hundreds you would round this to 400 gallons okay let's do a multiplication and division here why don't you multiply these with your calculator see what you get so on your calculator you get something like probably 27.72 mils but with multiplication and division it's the sig fig so the least accurate sig fig goes to it has two sig figs so i would round my answer to 28 mils for mixed operations basically you go step by step so you're going to do what's in the parentheses first and then you move on to the multiplication so make sure you round your answer using one rule before you move on to the next one so first of all i would add those two together it would be 29.3 and uh additions about decimal places so yeah that's the answer is fine and then i'm going to multiply that by the point 0.5896 and that's what my calculator gives me so i then want to round that down to um probably two decimal places which would be one plus just to finish off you can have a look at this if i want to find the mean of these uh, three numbers what would the answer be so i add them all up um i'm going to addition so i'm going to go to decimal places so i'm going to go to 6.8 mils now i divide by four but four is you know th that doesn't count in terms of decimal place uh, significant figures the four so it's going to go at 3.4 millimeters so that's it hopefully this uh, video helps you understand significant figures what they are how to use them how to calculate them